So now we're ready to continue with um, placement of various components. Uh, specifically for here, the landing gear doors. Now, this is something that, again, you may have to decide on as far as the order in which you place stuff, as that could become an issue. Again, this is going to vary kit by kit. So, again, you want to make sure you're putting stuff on the right direction and such, and much like the landing gear themselves, you're just going to apply just a tad of your choice of glue. And fortunately, the tip on this one broke off, so. this is a good time as any to show a working simple method. Just going to take a nail and just hammer it in. I'm using a pair of pliers only because they're what's handy. <laughs> Ideally you'd want to use an actual hammer. And an easy way to tell if the glue is unclogged is if you hear when you squeeze it a hissing sound. That is it. So as I said before, just must just apply just a tad. To the connection points. And then just very carefully position it in place. Now this is where things start getting tricky and all I can say is you just have to go slowly and carefully as it becomes quite easy from here on out to knock stuff off as it's very easy to knock these gear doors off. So again this is why you leave this step towards the very and, and again, you may find it useful to use a pair of tweezers to help you position and align stuff. Okay, now, these outer main gear doors are a little different in that they have these hooks. So this make, simplifies things a little bit, as it gives them a little bit more to grab onto. And again, same sort of process. But we're going to okay. again wanna make sure you're putting it on the right side. And then just slip it in. And then repeat for the other side. <laughs> Don't be afraid to reposition as you need to was to ensure that you can get these on correctly. Okay. Then usually we'll just need to hold it for a few seconds to make sure they stick. Now, one thing that I did do off camera is the um, tails here. Now, these are a little e easier and simpler than some kits in that they're just a simple peg and you slide it in. Um, for a lot of the more modern kits, since they're, they, their stable layers are all moving, they'll usually just have it as a little plug. In most cases, you don't even need to glue them. They're usually 
will just stay on on their own. So again, that's something that's going to vary from airplane to airplane. So just something to consider. But in case of these, you just need to glue them on. So, uh, all right, now going back to landing gear. Again, you always want to keep checking your instructions with these since they are somewhat mirrored. Um, you want to look for key points to tell which one's which. So, let's now know which one goes where. It's just, again, same process. A good way to tell if, well, if part's on is just to give it a count to 10 or so, and that usually will tell you if how long you need to hold it in place for. Alright, so last gear door. And actually starting to run out of time. So, okay. So this will actually work out a little well as far as planning wise, though it was not originally my intention to spend this entire video doing landing gear doors, but just how these things work out sometimes. Okay, and there we go. Now it's just a matter of letting these dry. Now, in most cases, since we're using super glue, it is dry fairly quickly. But again, um, you do want to give it a little time to, just to set up. And so, I'm going to let it do that and come back with the next video to do some more finishing.